Hello everybody, we're out here doing another video. Uh, can't put my hand over the camera there. Uh, so, i got to replace my mailbox here. Let's see if I can get this here to work right. So this mailbox here, it just wants to, ground is loose around it, I keep packing it in, and it keeps going backwards. So, I got one of these things right here. You think driving the ground. I wish I didn't got a picture of it. I'll take and get a picture of it uh, from off the website that I got bought it from Lowe's. It's a you drive it into the ground and you put your post into that there. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm gonna take and make a mailbox post to put the mailbox on. Something's a little bit more solid than that right there. So this is what it looks like. It's just a piece of steel uh, about two and a half foot long thereabouts holds a four by four post i had to drive this into the ground uh which is the reason why i'm out of breath here in the video uh it took a little bit to drive this in but it's uh been driven in the ground basically stick stick a block of wood in it because that block of wood you're going to drive into it it's going to get shattered so drink drove the it into the ground here uh before i took the did the video Okay, so instead of buying a pre-built post, I'm going to take and make one because I have some ideas for the future that I'm going to plan on doing here. Uh, so this right here is from when I did my deck here. This is a leftover, well, really not a leftover because I'm going to need some more when I can finish up doing those stairs there. And when I do the add-on and those stairs there, I need some more. But... For now, I want to think, say it's the leftover one. It's leftover for what I did so far uh, with the additional work that still needs to be done. Uh, that's going to happen later on. We're going to do, we will be doing an add on to the deck over here. We will finish up those stairs. We're going to actually move the AC here and widen those stairs before we do it. So that's, so this, we'll come back to that there. So, so these, this right here, a mailbox post. Mailbox is supposed to be like 42 to 45 inches from the ground. And this thing is like perfect. There we go. Come on, focus. 42 inches there right before that, below that break in it. So that's going to be perfect here. Now my mailbox happens to be exactly 6 inches wide inside, which would be the equivalent of doing something like three four two by fours right here something like this here and that would right there the mailbox would take mount on that except for, and somehow i hit stop here so the the back of the mailbox would have to go in here if we think make it all the way to the front here so we'd only have to take, cut a groove for the very back of the mailbox here the front of the mailbox would go up the house in here now the distance i have from from the road is 33 inches from the road it needs to be set back five to six inches from the road so that's 27 inches from the road and i don't know if this year board here is long enough or not we're going to see here because we need to be at least 30 inches and we're just well we're just higher under 30 inches so we're going to be right at six inches under the, behind the road so we're going to be uh see it's 27 uh yeah we actually need to be this needs to be a nut like an inch longer so let me see if i can find some boards are just a little bit longer than this here and we'll use those instead and yes i know i've got boards here right here these are all eight foot boards that are already stained and everything except for one uh but i'm trying to look through my stack of scraps here to find something that's 31 inches something like there well i didn't find anything that's 31 inches this is actually 62 inches here this one here. So if I cut that in half, that'll be 31 inches each, and that'll be perfect for the size that I need. So we're gonna split that in half, cut that in half, and then we're gonna start assembling the arm that goes out. And uh, as a result, we're gonna have to shave either inside of the two by four that goes around here because this is gonna only be three inches. So we're gonna have to do a quarter inch off of either here, on either side here, or a quarter inch off of this year one of the two I haven't decided which yet but uh we'll get there okay so i started putting this here together here and basically i just take and put some little small blocks here 
uh, in here because basically what's going to happen later is I'm going to put a little LED light here to shine underneath of the mailbox here because I'm going to put an illuminated sign down here. At, at <coughs> in the future, that's going to be se separate, something separate here. So right now, I just want to take and build this here so that it is for the uh, mailbox will actually sit on this here. This is actually, be, let me take and flip this here. This will be like so. The mailbox will sit up on top of here. Then underneath here will be the LEDs pointing down here. So this here, right here, back part here, this will be where the post is. So this is where we're at here. And I think I have the wrong board here. I think this, I'll have to take a measure these here because these are so close here. That looks to be like, oh, maybe, maybe it's the right board. All right. And once I get this here put together here, when I get this all put together, get all the pieces cut, I'm going to go ahead and use some of this stain protectorant here that I have left over from the deck. And, uh, or all we did was the rails of the deck. We still haven't finished the deck. We've still got the edging to put on in here. We got to stain the deck. But I got to get some more stain and protector. So we're making uh, touches here all up with that. Uh, get all the end pieces here and everything so that they're, you know, taken protected from the weather a little bit. So that's where we're going here. Let me take and finish putting this here together. So as you can see, it doesn't quite fit. So we've got to take and trim either the 4 x or the 2 by 4s so I think we're going to probably trim the 4 by 4 and we're just going to do, I'll mark this here and they can just do a shallow cut, some shallow cuts and then uh, chisel it out flat. I should have shown this set in the sheriff here, but basically what I had to do is set the mailbox on here, figure out exactly where it fit and then cut a groove through here so that the mailbox will fit on here. So let's see if I can do this here one handed. We've got the wipe over the hand and the other side. So there it goes. It sits right down in there. And we'll put screws in there. And this should literally fit perfectly here. Like that there. And it sits on there. And uh, there we go. Okay, so now we've trimmed this here up here just a little bit here. So we'll take take this piece here, and it should slide in there. There'll be a little bit of a gap here, but good enough here. And then, there we go. And then, we'll take screw that in there. But first, we've got to go and stain up all these here, cut pieces here, so that it's protected, stain, well, stain and protected here. So that's the next step here, and we'll get that taken care of here, and we'll take and put it together. Okay, we have it, have all the, Parts are stained. I'm not going to worry about taking, waiting for it to dry or anything. We're going to put it together here. Uh, that stain will dry fairly quick, like. And I'm not looking for perfection here. This is just a mailbox post. Just want to get some stain and protectant on it. Give us a, you know, a little bit of a something view. So we're going to put. I mean, I can always come back and stain it later. Uh, a little bit better stain on it, but I'd right now I want to protect the uh, wanted to protect all the cut areas that I had done uh, because it had been pre-stained, not pre-stained. We stained it earlier, uh, so we're going to go ahead and put screw this here together, and then we're going to go put it up in place. So here we go. Here's where it is in place. All I got to do now is screw it in place. Oi! Lost my hat. All you gotta do now is screw it in place, and we're gonna be done with this project. Oh, and for those of you who are gonna say that's gonna sag, that's okay. I have room here <coughs> that I can put, if, I, if it does start to sag, I'm gonna put gussets in here if I need to. So, that's gonna be fine. Uh, in fact, I'll probably do the gussets whenever I get right, when I do the, um, the solar, LED kit here that I want to take put together for this so because that's uh needs a place it needs a place for the solar pit piece to set to charge up the batteries and all that stuff so we'll probably put the gusset in then uh hopefully it'll last long enough that they can get that far before I get to that point but there we go so 
So, if you like this video, please subscribe, click like, and uh, we'll have some more projects coming forward.